Hello, my name is Nicholas Rogers. I am a junior electrical engineering major, and today I will be doing my project for physics two. So the problem that we were given deals with magnetic fields due to semicolor wires, and the law that we have to use to solve that is called the Biot-Savart law. So a brief um, summary of the Biot-Savart law is that it is an equation in electromagnetism that describes the magnetic field generated by a constant electric current. It relates the magnetic field to the following, magnitude, direction, length, and proximity. The law also states the magnetic field is inversely proportional to the square of the difference distance between the conductor and a point. The magnetic field is directly proportional to the length of the conductor, as well as the magnetic field is directly proportional to the current following in the conductor. The difference between the Biot-Savart law and the Ampere's law is that the Biot-Savart law considers the contribution of each element of the current in a conductor to de determine the magnetic field, while Ampere's law needs only the known current passing through a given surface. First, I will draw the figure that would be needed to solve the problem. Okay, so first we have to determine the magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of the semicircles. So we're going to do that by considering the contribution of each individual semicircle. According to the Biot-Savart law, the magnetic field created by a current flowing through a circular hoop with a radius at a distance r from its center can be expressed as B is equal to mu naught times I over 4R. Now in this problem we have two semicircles, one with current flowing clockwise and the other with current flowing counterclockwise. The direction of the magnetic field due to each semicircle needs to be considered. The outer semicircle, the current in the outer semicircle generates a magnetic field that points into the page at the center. According to the right hand rule, the radius of the outer semicircle is B. So its contribution to the magnetic field at point B can be expressed as B outer is equal to mu naught times I over 4B. Now, dealing with the inner circle. The current in the inner circle generates a magnetic field that points out of the page at the center. Due to the counterclockwise current, the radius of the inner circle is A, so its contribution to the magnetic field at point P can be expressed as B inner is equal to mu naught times I over 4A. 
Now, to find the total magnetic field at the center of these semicircles, we have to account for the fact that these two fields have opposite directions. Since they subtract from each other, the combined magnetic field can be expressed as the difference between the outer and the inner circle's contributions to the magnetic field. So, we can write that as B is equal to U naught times I over 4A minus used move to this next spot minus mu naught times i over 4b now this can be simplified down to move to the next page b is equal to mu naught times i over 4 times 1 over a minus 1 over b This expression provides the magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of the semicircle with the radius A and B when a current flows clockwise through the outer wire and also counterclockwise through the inner wire. Along with that, the final expression for the magnetic field at the center of the semicircle when we look at the radius A and B, can be seen as B is equal to U naught times I over four times one over A minus one over B. So, as a quick review over the steps that we use to solve this problem, the first step is to apply the Biot-Savart law to determine the magnitude of the magnetic field at the center of the semicircles, which is this step right here. Next, we have to combine the two semicircles. So, the outer one is mu naught times i over 4b. And the reason is b is because that is a radius that connects to the outside of the semicircle. And as well, the inner can be expressed as mu naught times i over 4a. A being the radius that connects to the inner part of the semicircle. The next step is to subtract the magnetic fields generated by the outer circle from the inner circle field to get the total magnetic field at the center of the opposing currents, which can be seen as mu naught times I over 4A minus mu naught times i over 4b, which can be simplified down to mu naught times i over 4 times 1 over a minus 1 over b. And then finally, we write out our final answer. And as well as this being our final answer, the direction of the magnetic field at the center of the semicircle is coming out of the screen.
Once again, my name is Nicholas Rogers, and this was my physics project dealing with magnetic fields due to semicircular wires. Once again, I want to thank you for the time of watching my project.